Hello everybody. In this tip and tricks short video, I'll explain the procedure to reset AutoCAD software. Sometimes we may have to reset AutoCAD after a software crash which may be due to a power failure or due to a memory issue. In fact, we can stick to any of the two methods to reset AutoCAD. In the first method, I'll show you how to reset the software before loading it and in the second method, I'll teach you how to reset AutoCAD after loading from within AutoCAD using a simple procedure. So we'll start with resetting it before loading. So just press the Windows key on your keyboard and you can type reset. Here you will get an option called reset settings to default. Just click on that. So it'll ask you whether you want to backup and reset custom settings or you can reset custom settings. I'll just click on backup and reset custom settings by clicking on this. So it'll ask you to uh, specify a file in which the settings can be saved. I would like to keep it on the desktop with a zip extension and save it. Now the settings are saved. Later on if you want you can restore it and it'll load AutoCAD software. Okay, it is reset it back to the defaults. After resetting the software, if you want, you can restore the saved settings. For that, you have to again press the Windows key. Then I'll type AutoCAD. And here you will get options like import AutoCAD 2000 settings and export the settings. Here I actually want to import the settings. So click on that. Then you'll be asked to select the zip file which you have saved just now. I'll select the zip file and open. And now what all settings you have saved is restored. Okay, now you can open AutoCAD with the previous settings. If you don't want to save the settings and if you want to straight away reset AutoCAD back to the defaults, what you can do is just press Windows key and uh, type reset. And here you will get reset settings to default. And instead of clicking on backup and reset custom settings, you can click on reset custom settings. Now it will reset the custom settings back to the default settings of AutoCAD. Now it's loading the software. Next I'll change the color of the model space for example. So right click and go to options and I'll go to display and I'll change the color by clicking on the color button and I'll change the color from the gray shade to black and I apply and close. Okay, so I've made a change in the settings. Next I'll show you how we can reset AutoCAD from within AutoCAD. For that just right click and go to options and you can click on the profiles tab. Here you have a button called reset, just click on that. So it'll ask you whether you want to reset the profile to the defaults. I'll give yes and okay. Now you can see that the screen color is back to gray because the default settings are restored. So these are the two methods. When do you feel that you actually want to reset AutoCAD? Sometimes after a system crash, uh, the certain shortcuts won't work. For example, if you press Ctrl 1, you will get the properties palette. And when you press Ctrl 2, you will get the design center palette and things like that. Sometimes even when you press this Ctrl key combination, you won't get the palettes. It may be due to an internal software corruption or due to a system crash. Whenever you encounter such a situation, if you reset AutoCAD, you will get all the default settings back and it will work properly. Hope this short video has given you some insights regarding resetting the software. Please hit the like button if you like this short video. Thank you so much for your time and peace be upon you all.